Hey everyone, my name is Erica Gonzalez and I am one of the product training coordinators of the product training team here at Wellness Living. In this video, we will be looking at improvements to the appointment booking flow that will be experienced for staff and clients. And so let's first look at the appointment booking flow here of staff. And so I've arrived here at the schedule and let us go ahead and book an appointment. Right away we see here this new look and feel of being able to book an appointment. By default, the client's window over here expands. And so because I already selected my date and time, it appears as so, June the 2nd. If I wanted to change that, I could simply expand it I could also toggle this on or off for reoccurring. I'm satisfied with this date and time. I'm going to collapse that. I can also, I'm actually going to keep that and I'm going to go ahead and go to clients. Great. And so I'm going to select the client. It is the client by the name of Ezra. Great. And there we go. So we see right here, it goes on to the next se section, which is service. I'm going to select the location, Moonlight or Moonlight Studio Markham. I'm going to select Moonlight Yoga Studio and the service based on the appointment. I have all these types of appointments. I am going to select the personal training one-on-one. -on -one. Awesome. Now it goes on to the staff. So you see here, I already selected a date. I went from clients to service to now staff. I can select the gender preference right over here, male or female. It already shows me the available staff for the session based on the date and time. It is Ryan, so I'm gonna keep it as so. And the assets based on this type of appointment requires the asset of a room, which is the weight room. It's the only one. And there we go. We can go ahead and book and pay. So you can see here that the staff who's booking this appointment is able to experience less clicks, everything hubbed all in one. And you can see some similarities with how this look and feel is very similar to the client web app. So we're gonna go ahead and book and pay. And that is the booking flow when it comes to staff booking an appointment. Now we have arrived in a different section, which is under store configuration and store settings. With this, if a business requires clients to provide their credit card details prior to booking a service, a business is able to activate that using the toggle on or off. By default, it will be off. However, I already went ahead to turn it on. And again, if I turn it on, it requires clients to add their credit card to book services. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and we are going to see how that looks like for the client via the client web app. I signed into the client web app and right away I see here that missing billing information that I as a client must add a valid credit card to my profile before I can book services. And so we can see here how activating that toggle would appear on the client's end. So this concludes the video. When it comes to use cases or what is beneficial for businesses, of course, there is less number of clicks and expanded windows when it comes to booking appointments. And they also have the ability and flexibility to be able to dictate if a credit card is needed or not to book services. Again, that brings us to the end of this video. We thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next one.